All right, we're continue, continuing to follow that developing news out of Troy right now, where the jury deliberations are continuing in the voter fraud trial. As we said, the Runcer County Elections Commissioner, Ed McDonough, is the man facing those forgery charges in connection with the 2009 Working Families Party primary. Now, as I mentioned, the jury had handed the judge a note, and CBS 6's Jen Lukey joins us live now at the Runcer County Courthouse in Troy, hopefully to be able to tell us what kind of information they're looking for or what they said to the judge. Jen? Yeah, Liz, this was actually the first time we'd heard from the jury since about 1 o'clock yesterday when they got the case. Today, they wanted to hear readback of the testimony of Mary Ellen LaPlante. She was a Board of Elections employee working under Edward McDonough at the time that this alleged fraud was going on. So upstairs right now, that testimony is being read back to the jury, and they will take that back into the jury room with them. Another part of the note was... When can we order lunch? So you can tell they've been at it for a while this morning. This is the first note that we've heard from them. And this has been a very long, grueling trial for everyone involved. The jury, the defense, the prosecution. It's been five weeks of testimony. The judge has reprimanded both attorneys several times in several different instances for failing to keep their emotions in check. Now, the work is done on their part. Now, the jury is going back through all of this information, trying to make a judgment on the six. 62 counts against Edward McDonough. He has been here all morning, pacing the hallways, talking, sitting with his family, waiting. You know, every time there's any people walking in or out or anywhere near the jury room, everyone sort of kind of gets, you know, up and, and starts paying attention. And it's normally nothing. This was, like I said, the first note. Uh, the jury is made up of nine women and three men. And uh, they seem to, you know, when you when you look at them, they seem to be very interested, invested in, in all of the testimony that they've been hearing. You know, you don't really see anyone nodding off. I and mean, this can be sort of a, uh, an overbearing process. But it does seem that they are on task and they are, will be having lunch soon. But right now they are hearing the testimony, as I said, of Mary Ellen LaPlante. She was on on the stand several weeks ago now, so it's not unlikely that they have forgotten parts of her testimony, so that's what they're revisiting right now. We will be here at Troy Court, uh, Rensselaer County Court in Troy, covering this trial all afternoon, and if there is a verdict at any point today, we'll bring it to you as soon as we have it on our website, and of course, we'll have live updates this evening. Liz? And thank you, Jen, very much. And we should also point out that we're just seconds away, we believe, from a, uh, a live shot on that other breaking story that's happening right now, that the uh, shooting in Albany. So stay with us. We'll be getting to that in just a second. In the meantime, big news out of Washington, where the House Speaker, John Boehner, says he remains hopeful that a fiscal cliff compromise can be reached, but he says President Obama has yet to offer a balanced deficit cutting plan. Speaking just a short time ago now, Boehner said that the president's latest offer is for $1.3 trillion in tax increases over the next decade and $850 billion in spending cuts. Without an agreement, you know the taxes will go up for everyone and then there will be some wide-ranging spending cuts that will also begin.